Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today, darling, I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot messages for August 2nd to August 8th for August 2021, obviously. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this tarot reading today, Aquarius, let me know in the comments below. I always like to call them your aha moments that you have with the cards, because that is how I keep up with you, honey. As well, if you enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, Aquarius, I would really appreciate if you were to give this video a like and subscribe honey because it does help me out a lot and i always appreciate it when you guys do that for me but aquarius remember put this in perspective honey i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you a darling you know your situation better than i ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever i believe the cards are just here to give you some food for thought perspective for you to be considering honey but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards so let's just jump into this reading today aquarius let's see what's going on with you honey so i already pulled uh your crow spirit card right i already pulled your animal oracle card which is the crow spirit <laughs> i guess i should have said uh 17 equaling to 8 aquarius in numerology so go ahead and write that number down for me to look up later uh but this crow spirit says co-create with spirits funny how all the air signs actually actually have such a deep connection this week in terms of their spirit guides. Um, that seems to be the theme uh, here coming in for you. So with this, co uh, with this crow spirit here, and I feel like Aquarius, you kind of, I believe you had this card a few weeks ago, because for some reason this sounds very familiar for your reading, like uh, probably like a month ago um for you but co-creating with spirit right now spirit is really trying to uh work through you trying to make you the vessel aquarius you are the vessel darling i may even title your video that way um you are the vessel to really put out some fabulous work some fabulous content to really create something aquarius through uh the channeling of spirit now i know like many of you aquariuses i'm not trying to project my own belief system on you but i do feel as if like it sounds super dramatic, but you know how, like, some people, like, just, like, their talents, like, you know, like, Michael Jackson or, um, Adele, like, those, like, those, you know, just, like, the, it doesn't, I know I just listed all singers, um, but it's in the sense of where it's, uh, it just feels like so talented and it's just doesn't feel like of this world you're just like oh clearly they're just you like it's god's voice like god singing through them and it's in that dynamic now obviously not all of you guys are going to subscribe to god this kind of just gives like the in essence like the magnitude of like the potential content the potential like work that you could be doing in the sense of it's just highly elevated really huge really talented um overall aquarius so let's get some clarifiers on this right but overall this is starting to look right off the bat fabulous for you honey and these cards are already making sense for you so let me show them to you uh we have here the knight of pentacles the knight of coins stepping forward for you aquarius while we also have the Six of Cups stepping forward. You had this card uh, show up a lot last week. And then you had the Magician card. And the Magician card kept on looking at me, darling. And I'm not surprised this card came in because even when I was doing your pre-shuffling, which takes me about like 10 minutes, uh, Aquarius, when I'm just connecting to y'all's energy and just, you know, doing all my hoo-ha stuff, right? Um, <laughs> that sounds weird. Uh, the Magician card kept popping out and I was like, okay, honey, like I'm not gonna pull it out, darling. I'm gonna pull you out right now, but if you wanna come out, darling, come out in the camera's on and she did darling so uh, the magician card really coming in which i feel as if makes a lot of sense especially with the crow spirit coming in co-creating with spirit because the magician card not a lot of people talk about it but the magician card is a fabulous time for those who are practitioners who you know maybe this is a time for you to be doing like a ritual of some type a new moon ritual darling um some type of ritual work you know setting the intent on something the magician is um will uses all the tools that that uh, they can to create the reality that they want for themselves. That's why you see the magician holding a wand, holding a cup, sword, pentacle. Like the magician has it all. The magician uses everything to their advantage, right? Including um, connecting with spirit. But as I was saying, I digress from that. Let's get stray away from the spiritual portion of it, just in case my Aquariuses aren't resonating with the spiritual aspect, darling. So it doesn't have to be. That's me just projecting. But uh, six of Pentacles coming, six of Cups coming in with the Knight of Pentacles. This is a dynamic of where something big is really uh, coming up for you. Something is being created, and I feel like spirit is partially responsible for this as well. 
So even if you don't even have like some type of uh, active like creative pursuit Aquarius or anything of your own personal actions that could be even be served as like a vessel um, <laughs> through for a spirit to work through, I do feel as if what's coming towards you is very spiritually inclined. So uh, this is giving me very much so an energy of where you go shop like let's just say Aquarius this is all about like a social romantic thing for you right it could be open like whatever it is right this is the dynamic of where spirits going to if you're meant to be clicking with someone like let's just say like a soulmate right um, we have multitude of them doesn't have to be romantic right but you go to you go to your Trader Joe's honey I went to Trader Joe's yesterday darling I spent too much money but you go to Trader Joe's um, and you bump your cards with somebody that you end up just connecting with for a long time right Six of Cups comes in as where something's being given to you, some type of offer, some type of gift. You're receiving something, right? So with this Magician card, this very easily could be in the dynamic where if you're not doing any type of work, uh, Aquarius, you are rather in that sense, in that channeling sense, you just continue doing what it is that you're doing as the Magician. Knight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and that Crow Spirit comes in as the sense of where it's like... Ooh, honey, I need, I need to calm down. I be, anytime I start speaking a lot, honey, I've taken a bunch of air and I'm about to like be belching. Like that's not in the cards, honey. Me belching is not in the cards. But I do feel as if what's coming to you, some type of gift, you're going to be receiving some type of gift from the universe, kind of like a reward uh, coming in for you, uh, Aquarius. So let's get into this. I really want to go in a little bit deeper with this six of cups here uh what is the what more detail can we get what are you receiving right with the nine of pentacles as well i just want to make a note it is the slowest moving energy uh coming in so if this has been a long time coming right so the clarifiers we have for the six of cups we have the four of cups coming in with the eight of swords makes sense as well as the death card stepping forward for you. So what's coming in for you uh, with the Six of Cups, this is something that you might even miss up on, uh, Aquarius. This is something you might be missing up on because with the Six of Cups, you know, this is a, a card where they're exchanging cups, right? That's how you're receiving something. But when this is being clarified with the Four of Cups, this is almost the sense of where you're refusing it or you're not be choosing to be open to it. And I'm going to go into this narrative more so where it's like choosing not to be as open to it or wanting to initially receive it. Because of this Eight of Swords coming in, this is like your self-limiting thoughts, your beliefs, right? It's almost as if, you know, what's coming forward to you, it's that sense of being like too good to be true or you know not your story right and maybe you feel as if oh i'm not like i'm not meant for greatness right for some of you aquarius is that maybe what your response was when you're just like oh i'm not who am i i'm not important for spirit to be using me as a vessel right if you said that darling no you need to be doing away with that with this death card coming in here you really need to be this comes in as this kind of like a call out message aquarius where it's just like the what what it is that you're going to be receiving right with that six of cups here from spirit right it's one of those things where it's like don't refuse it don't refuse the offer do not fight against it just go along with it you know fight through your insecurities fight through the narratives with this eight of swords here of where you're telling yourself why it is you can't do something why it is you can't go further with something right this eight of swords is those self-limiting uh thoughts and so it's very much so in the sense of where i just feel as if for a lot of you queries is some of you guys have just become I don't know if complacent's the word for it, but you kind of, some of you guys kind of have just given up on this idea of where, how you are not, like, it feels almost as if, like, some of you guys don't feel as if you're, like, destined for your own greatness, and that greatness looks different for everybody, right? Um, I know just destined for greatness sounds super flashy and just like, okay, girl, come down, but, like, you, like, what's greatness for everybody is different. Some people, they want to be, be extremely great at running a bakery. Some people want to be extremely great at, like, and whatever it is, Aquarius, and, you know, don't give up on yourself. Really, um, see your yourself from a higher pedestal really value value yourself i know that's something we always kind of uh go into with you aquarius where i'm just like you're not seeing your potential um, you're not seeing how fabulous you are aquarius so let's get into your hopes and dreams now aquarius let's get into your hopes and dreams for this week 
We have the new moon in Scorpio working through your fears. So again, in your hopes and dreams, like I do feel as if the opportunity coming towards you, uh, Aquarius, is something that you really want, but it's, the idea of it is just super intimidating to you, right? It's just in the sense, you know, let's just say like maybe you've always just been a dancer or like an author, right? And then you receive the potential for you to get your work out there, for you to be seen more Aquarius, but then uh, that's where your fears come in. That's where your insecurities come in. You're just like, oh, what if I'm not good enough? Or I'm not good enough, right? Whatever those narratives, those storylines that you tell yourself, Aquarius, we need to be working through it because I really do feel as if it's your insecurities. It's like your like your fears, rather. Let's not just call it insecurities. Whatever those fears are for you, is what's limiting you, is what's slowing down your progression. So we need to really be working on that, Aquarius. Really don't, don't, it's almost in the sense of where, Aquarius, you can't just refuse, like, at some point you have to just, like, just do it, even when you're just extremely scared, because it's by the end of it, like, by when you make it out on the other side, it's just, you're gonna be so happy that you did it. Right now it's super intimidating, but it's just like, you can handle it, Aquarius. You absolutely can handle it. You are up for the task. So the clarifiers we have coming in for you is the Emperor card stepping forward, the Temperance card coming in, Major Arcana after Major Arcana. Three Major Arcana really coming in for you. So your hopes and dreams, definitely some big transition coming through here. Wheel of Fortune as well. And before you even get into like the actual detail of the Major Arcana, I always say when you see a bunch of Major Arcana coming in for like a spread for a reading, that signifies a sense of transition, like major transitions, because it's a very high impactful energy uh, in whatever spread that is. And for this, this is your hopes and dreams, Aquarius. So quite literally, you work through your fears because big changes are coming. Big changes are coming for you, Aquarius. The Wheel of Fortune really also highlights the sense of like, you know, things working out in your favor. Fortune is on your side. The gears are turning um, actively in your life right now. And I quite literally feel as if the crow spirit, your spirit guides, whatever it is you subscribe to, Aquarius, is res is what's responsible for this wheel of fortune turning in your favor. And especially I get this sense in just in a lot more of a rapid motion. So be patient at this time. This temperance card comes in as like being patient, but also um, not like it's almost in the sense, Aquarius, where while I don't feel as if there's this sense of urgency for you, um, and I feel as if really Aquarius is probably like the most patient zodiac signs, and I know that's gonna be like piss off so many other zodiac signs if they even heard me say that, because then it's like, well, but no, I really do feel as if Aquarius is the most patient out of every anybody. Um, but in this sense here, I almost feel as if you have to kind of uh, have patience and kind of accept the fact that it's not gonna just be like an initial, like you take the leap of faith and then like things immediately work out, right? You know, let's just say this is about starting a business, right? Working through your fears and just like, oh, I have the chance to do like a business, right? Whatever, right? When you open that business, you may not get a bunch of customers the first day, right? But as the emperor, you kind of stand strong in your conviction. You continuously take action and really building something and trusting the process that the wheel of fortune is really working in your favor. So this is quite literally saying, Aquarius, while I can't promise rainbows and sunshine immediately for you, darling, as much as I would love to have that for all those zodiac signs, it's just not reality. Um, I have to prepare you guys in the sense of where it's like, yeah, you work through your fears, Aquarius, right? And I know some of you guys are gonna be like, all right, Valka, I worked through my fears, I took this risk for something, darling. Where's the payout, right? And it's, it's like, trust the process, Aquarius. You're gonna be a little bit uncomfortable for a little bit, but you trust the process and the payout is definitely coming. The direct deposit into your bank account is coming, honey. It just may not be immediately, but that's how most things are, right? It doesn't, you don't just like wake up overnight with a million dollars in your bank account. If only it worked out that way. I know tarot makes it come off in that way, but you have to remember tarot is always just tapping into energy on things, right? It's never just, it's one, not creating it, <laughs> the reality, and two, um, it's not bringing it into the physical immediately, right? This is just where you are in the works. So let, what is it that you don't see coming, Aquarius? Let's get into what it is that you don't see coming towards you. Blue Heron card coming in. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what you feel is right in spite of judgment or disapproval of others. So quite literally, this is a similar message, Aquarius, where it's just like, continue making a stand for the things you believe in, the things that you want to be working out, and it's going to pay off, right? But let's get into some clarifiers before we get into this too much. But overall, what you don't see coming for you 
is where it's like, if you take it, if you choose to take a stand, darling, right? Choosing to stand in your ground, choosing to stand in your conviction with something. We, we then have Ace of Wands coming in. Hierophant, come on now with the King of Pentacles. This is what you don't see coming. If you choose to take a stand, if you choose to just ride this out, really trust the process, Aquarius, and like what it is your spirit guides are trying to create with you, right? What's coming forward to you is something absolutely fabulous. King of Pentacles with the Hierophant card here. This is fabulous energy and where it's like quite literally uh, for my Aquariuses coming in and I really do feel like this is like you're going to be promised like very much so like job securement. Um, a lot of just overall like long-term security and like some aspect of your life that you're trying to add a little bit more stability to. Now I'm going to just go into finances here uh, for the rest of this reading overall just because I feel like for many of you guys it's in regards to your finances or somehow finan financially inclined if this is about your career. Because the Wheel of Fortune also signifies the pentacles as well. Like, that seems to be the constant theme here. So, what you don't see coming to you, quite literally, is, like, if you choose to just stand in your, like, trusting, standing by your company, right? If, uh, is it, like, Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs, whoever created Apple, the, the one, y'all know who I'm talking about, the one that was, like, in their garage, honey, and tried to convince everybody how computers are the future, right? And how that person ended up being right, darling. I, I don't know. I just know it's some white man. I think it was Apple, Steve Jobs, right? Let me know in the comments if I'm right, because I think it's that white man. Uh, it's in that dynamic where it's like you write it out, you trust the process, you you know, and then it, eventually it pays out in tenfold for you. The Hierophant, the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, this is all just about where it's like the buildup, like, of what comes for you. And it just gives such, like, I just keep hearing, like, job securement, financial security. So it just overall, just a lot of good for you. I feel like you're really going to, like the actions that you're going to be doing and where you're going now, like what you're feeding into is just really going to be feeding and uh, helping you and impacting you for the long run. Like five years down the road, it's like the choices you make today are going to be how your life is going to be looking like five years from now, even like a year from now. It all just feels like the things you do greatly impact your future in a positive way. So um, beautiful reading overall, Aquarius. But that is the tarot cards that I have for you, darling. Hopefully you found some cards that resonated. If you did, let me know in the comments below, darling. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And also I do weekly weekly i do personal readings for all the zodiac signs aquarius um <laughs> aquarius darling y'all at the end of my reading i have to take a break after this i do personal readings sum it up i do personal readings simplyvelka.com i have a link down below next to my social medias tiktok twitter instagram all just simply velka clearly since i can't be speaking anymore aquarius i'm gonna close this video out but i really appreciate you guys sticking it out with me and i didn't do it for all the any of the other air signs but you guys are the lucky air signs this week that get to make an 11-11 wish with me. So this is an 11-11 rose quartz stone. Make a wish, darling. I love you so much. Bye.